What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate, and today we're gonna to be talking about the craziest, the dopest, the sickest After Effects techniques coming out from the community. You guys already know what time it is. Sit back, relax, take a hit. I'm super excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. So the reason why I even want to talk about all of these super cool techniques is because y'all are super impressive, really creative, making some of the dopest work I've seen. Now, I want to share it with you guys because I think off of watching some of these, you're going to be able to take away some inspiration of your own. And who knows, maybe even next time you're going to see yourself on one of these videos. So let's get right into this list. I got the phone right here. I'm going to be pulling it up. Let's go. Okay, so the first video that we have is Iqbal Javier. We have this super sick glitch cat. Right off the bat, it kind of reminds me of Edward OV vibes with the facial tracking and the masking there. And these like really super trippy 3D elements. Oh my goodness, yeah, this is really sick. I'm wondering if maybe he's even using Starfield in After Effects. Is that what he's using to get those particles there? Or he might even be using something like Trap Code or Plexus. Quite a few options. Oh my goodness, and the colors. Oh, what the heck? He used Lockdown? Yo. <laughs> Dude, I would have not even guessed that this was Lockdown. Holy shit. So Lockdown is actually a super cool plugin that you can find on A Scripts. It came out, I want to say, last year, and it actually made it on our top plugins of the end of the year list because it was one of the most innovative plugins that I had seen come out. Super sick, like all the stuff I've seen people do, you can do it on like animals, clothes, pretty much any surface. Great work, Iqbal Javier. I, I'm honestly super impressed. <laughs> Yo, okay, we, we gotta stop right now and just rewatch this because this is just some of the most clever, creative uses of compositing, VFX, physics, and motion graphics, all in the same thing. I'm just freaking mind blown. Who made this? Yo, is this my broken glasses 22? So off the bat, we have something that kind of seems simple, but as we start watching a little bit more, there's so many details that I can just love and appreciate about this. And the fact that the letters have this physicality about them, which I can already tell as a plugin, it looks like it's Newton 2. And this is just so amazing because he's able to use uh, Newton 2, which is this plugin for After Effects that allows you to do all kinds of physics simulations. I've seen a lot of like 2D flat motion graphics, but the fact that my broken glasses 22 added this with a compositing element and then this 3D tracking to it, this is just amazing. <laughs> And I want you guys to even pay attention to how like the letters when they change from one part of the sign to the next part, we have these different masking over effects. I'm wondering if he did this with adjustment layers even too to have like the different brightnesses. So it really does feel like these letters are existing in some sort of physical space, but still stuck into this 2D plane. It's just so clever, really dope VFX, man. <laughs> Love it a lot. Hope to see more. Let's get on to the next ones. Next up, we have one from Cash Bunny, who is a super talented VFX artist and motion designer, animator, director. Honestly, I don't even know how to describe this video because it's difficult to even tell what I'm watching. It's like a hula hoop getting past to the same person over and over again with a bunch of different tricks. The way that I'm thinking that this hula hoop and the camera motion pan is being done is I can kind of tell that the ground layer is like a little bit, looks like it was stretched out to make it look like it's over and over again. But really this could have just been done in front of like one pink wall with the same girl in the same place. And then maybe this camera motion is entirely done in After Effects and then just timed it properly. And then the choreography fits perfectly too to where we get these distinct poses for the hula hoop pass off. Yeah, this is one of those VFX shots that had to have been directed in order to also be able to play out in the way that this choreography passes the hula hoop and then also keeps the posing effect in the same way. Really sick. Oh shoot, she actually says there's no rotoscoping here. She was actually able to key out the wall and then just match the takes based on where the hoop landed. So wow, that, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, and yeah, I guess actually if this was filmed in front of a specifically colored wall, then you could do something like a chroma key to take out the background, save you a whole lot of time with rotoscoping. Dang, yeah, this is really sick. Simple execution, amazing result. Huge props to Cash Bunny. Love your work, hope to see more. So this next crazy technique is actually a plugin that you can get, but not a digital plugin. It's a physical one. And I'm talking about a piece of hardware that you can get for your computer as a complement to your keyboard or your mouse, or maybe even a replacement altogether. That is the LoopDeck CT. LoopDeck is actually super premium. 
talking about the price point in terms of computer accessories. So I think at $500, it's way pricier than your typical keyboard and mouse setup. But then again, your typical keyboard and mouse setup don't have things like knobs, a touchscreen, an LED display. So there's a lot to get into with it. It has a whole bunch of features from custom profiles to custom workspaces. There's all kinds of use cases for it from After Effects, Premiere to Lightroom to, I think even they have like audio editing. What Which one is it? Ableton Live? I got to double check. Anyways, I'm going to leave all the information in the description as well for you guys to check that out. I also know that they're a super new company, so things are changing all the time from updates and features and things like that to just improving the software. So definitely Loop Deck is going to be on my radar to see how they do uh, a year from now and maybe even just six months from now. So anyways, all that information will be in the description. Check it out. Okay, yo. Okay, so this next one we have is from Motion by Nick, which I've talked about before because Motion by Nick has some of the coolest motion graphics I have seen. And <laughs> this one actually looks to be a write on effect, which if you guys are interested in learning how to make a write on effect of your own, we have a tutorial on the channel. You can go ahead and check that out. The cool thing I'm seeing is that Motion by Nick designed this first in Illustrator, and then he has like this super cool breakdown. It's one thing to make a really dope animation or typography or even a graphic, but it's another thing to add all these post-processing effects such as the scan lines and the noise and the color burn. I love that Motion by Nick even showed the whole process of it. You know, huge kudos for anyone who showcases their process because it's like revealing the magic behind the work, helping others at the same time benefit it from all of your cool techniques. So yeah, super dope. If you guys have not checked out Motion by Nick, I think he also has a YouTube channel where he talks about some tutorials. So you can go ahead and check that out as well. Always love your work, Nick. Hope to see more. Okay, so next up we have Easy After Effects Lightsaber. Cringe alert, I'm only 12. I wanted to show this to you guys because I remember when I first started After Effects, my work was not super impressive, not like on movie quality level, but it was still getting there in terms of being able to mess around with the program and think a little bit more creatively. When I see a video like this, even though it's not the most perfect lightsaber effect, this is still super awesome, dude. Like I feel like you, you gotta get mad props for being young and being at it creatively. And honestly, even the way that you did this lightsaber is coming out super dope. But yeah, he said he wants to pursue this as a career. Keep it up. Hope to see more work from you. And to all the other young creators out there, feel free to set in your work. You guys don't have to be shooting on super HD red cameras and making crazy. 3D particle effects. You guys can just be getting into the, the grips of using VFX and just making cool creative stuff. So this is honestly some of my favorite stuff to watch. Yeah, this is so cool. And he's just doing this in his room, yo. Oh, also shouts out to the My Hero Academia poster. You know, I caught that. That was, that was nice. <laughs> All right, let's get into the next one. All right, so next up we have a dancing green screen effect. So I love this power line effect because it's something also super simple. It's just a person again dancing. You key out the green screen and now you have an element that you can place anywhere. And the fact that they added this person dancing on top of the power line adds this bit of fantasy surrealism that I think is super cool to put the dancer to sit on this bench and then to put them on top of these scenarios. I wonder though, how did they get the slight bending of the cable like it looks like that cable would have also been animated one thing i want to stress to you guys when using a green screen and doing vfx shots like this if you can ever add in subtle camera movements like they're doing inside this one it's just a whole nother level and shoot i i know i've talked about um transparent videos but i've not actually broken down the best way to use a green screen and just how to like really make some super cool stuff with green screens trust me that one's gonna be coming on soon so if you guys are interested in learning something like that make sure you hit the subscribe button stick around because you know we're gonna be covering all kinds of cool stuff on the channel you guys are honestly the reason why we are still here today so thanks brad sims an x games athlete dude this is super sick Super Mario, like, th yeah, this is so creative. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I love video games. I think that video games is evolution of media in terms of if we started off with first maybe photography and led into video, I think video games is just like that next evolution in media. So whenever I see someone doing something with video games, I I'm a little bit of a sucker for it, I gotta say. This Brad Sims, and Super Mario edit is so sick. I feel like you guys gotta check this out because it kind of reminds me of some of the older Freddy Wong videos I used to see where Super Mario come to life or even Pokemon sometimes come to life with uh, video editing. 
And in this case, we have this really talented BMX Bradson. Shoot, he looks super dope in being able to do all these cool tricks and then turning into this Super Mario. Holy sh! Now he's hopping on this. Is that a Goomba thing? Yo, and then the effect where he makes them grow bigger. Already, I'm gonna think that in order to make most of these effects, we're dealing with stuff like rotoscoping and just a lot of simple masking. Ooh, we got some 3D tracking going on there too with the uh, Bowser. Holy sh! Yeah, this looks nice. Verified. <laughs> yeah, and I love that outro where he uh, makes it look like an arcade. Oh shoot, does this loop? Yo, okay, yeah, so this one perfectly loops. That is really sick. I just love all these subtle animations and the transitions. Very original, who made this? Okay, so this is from Skateboards. Yo, that, that's a super fitting name for the, the content. I see a little bit of a glowing lines there. So I wonder if he actually used Envato's. Um, I talked about RTFX Generator before from Envato. And I know that they have a, a little feature where you can create a mask and then you can make these uh, lightning effects wherever a mask is. So I wonder if that's kind of what I'm looking at right now. Holy shoot. Yeah, and, and one of the subtle details that I want you guys to even pay attention to is the way that he's playing around with depth because it's not just one thing to mask out a character and then all of a sudden he's always in front. But with this part where he's like flipping around the wall, you can see like it looks like Brad Sims is behind the star. And then when he whips around, he actually goes and, and like knocks into the star. So we have a, an editor that's playing with 3D space and like is compositing. I just love the, the little attention to detail there. Super dope skateboards. I love it. <laughs> Can't wait to see more. All right, let's get on to the next one. Okay, so this one is a Big Ben Jenga. And this one is also by LA Brow, holy shit. Yeah, so I wanted to show you guys this one because I thought it was so cool how we have these hands cut out and they're all animated as if they're playing Jenga out of this Big Ben tower. So I'm already thinking this was done maybe with Photoshop, but then the fact that there's different poses for the hands, I'm like, wow, whoever made this would have had to not only find uh, hands that work for this, but even like the slight animation of the thumb and the pointer finger out. I'm wondering if like that could just be puppet pin. And the faux 3D of the, the animation is really cool. The little bit of like the wobbling of the physics effects. It, yeah, this is really nice. Super simple, but also super complicated when I, when I get into it like composition wise this is so clean the color palette's dope really awesome work and i haven't seen like too many collage art style after effects stuff but it reminds me exactly of how after effects works and that you know i'm, I'm cutting out things i'm masking things in an older medium we probably would have seen stuff like collages magazines and now to actually have this magazine-esque style inside of After Effects. So this is meta on an artistic level as well. Oh my goodness, I could just watch this all day because it loops. Huge kudos to you for making what I would consider to be just a, a super dope art piece in itself. Yeah, ho hope to see a lot more Ellie Brow. <laughs> okay, so next up we have one from Josh Oxy. It's like a super trippy hip hop edit. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of um, some of the work that I used to see, um, like Lyrical Lemonade or even, what is it, Astari, where we have like these super vaporwave inspired, collage effects heavy visuals. It's really cool just how creative all these different transitions are coming together, <laughs> especially with the new windows and then the, the different rotoscoping effects. I'm actually even noticed that Video Copilot's Wave, um, I forget the name of it, but it, it's a pack from Video Copilot. <laughs> you tough bro, show me. Really sick hip hop edit. Cool work, man. Love it. Huge thanks for Envato for sponsoring. You guys have been uh, some of the best resources that I've seen out there for creatives when it comes to things, not just from After Effects templates, but even stock footage and audio and websites and fonts. Just yeah, the, the list goes on and on. You guys are gonna wanna check out Envato. They were super generous to give me a special link so every time that you guys actually sign up with Envato Elements, you guys are gonna be helping support Black Mixture as well. So super cool, check it out when you get the chance. Links in the description. All right, so I think that is it for all the videos that we had sent in. But of course, I'm sure that there are a bunch of super dope videos that I did not even talk about on this. So I want you guys to keep sending them in. I'm gonna love looking at it. And who knows, maybe the ones that you send in are gonna end up on the next video. Ooh, shoot, yo, so we hit 115K subs. So I wanna say thanks to you all for being a part of this community. It's really great to have you all here and get to talk about After Effects, but even some of the other cool stuff on the channel from 
graphic design to videos and games and all kinds of cool shit. If you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the cool videos that we got planned. Anyways, I hope to catch you on the next one. Peace.